Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to convert radians to degrees and degrees to radians. Okay, so let's get to it. So there's two formulas that you need to remember. To convert from degrees to radians, you simply use the formula degrees over 180 times pi will equal the number of radians. Now remember, radians are always expressed as some kind of a fraction with pi, okay? Pi acting almost like a variable. And make sure that this is a fraction and not a decimal, all right? I'll always use it as a fraction instead. So, and then the formula for radians to degrees is also pretty simple. Radians divided by degrees times 180 will equal the number of degrees. Okay, let's get to it. Now over here, I have 60 degree angle and I want to find out what the radians or would be here. We already know that the number of degrees is 60, but what would be the radians here? How would I express that in, in terms of pi? Well, according to my formula, I'm going to take 60 degrees, divide it by 180, and then I'm going to times it by pi, and that should be equal to my number of radians. 60 divided by 180 is 1 third, so 1 over 3 pi, or just finally pi over 3 will be my number of radians. So I just put pi over 3 at that point right there. Okay, now if this formula is holding true, then the reverse, I should be able to use pi over 3 and then get back to 60 degrees. Let's see what happens. So with this one, it's a little bit trickier because you're going to have to remember how to use, how to multiply and divide fractions. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. If my radian is pi over 3, and then I divide it by pi times 180 to get my number of degrees, I'm going to have to multiply by the reciprocal here. Now remember, whenever you have a fraction divided by, and let's just put this over 1. So essentially what I have is a fraction divided by a fraction. And if you remember your algebra, when you divide a fraction by a fraction, you're really just multiplying by the reciprocal of this. So I'm just going to put 1 over pi. Okay, this is going to cancel out, that's going to be equal to the number of degrees. This is going to cancel out my pi's, and I'm going to be left with 1 times 180 divided by 3. So 180 divided by 3 will give me my 60 degrees, which is what I knew it was originally. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Just remember, this is a little bit more difficult, and you have to remember how to multiply and divide your fractions. Hope that was helpful.